So what did you think about the president's remarks on Cuba? Well, you know, it was more of the same. The president says that he's broken new ground with uh, new relations with, uh, with Cuba. And interestingly enough, he said the Cold War is over. But note to the president, no one has told the Cuban people that. Because what happened on Sunday, 200 people were arrested in Cuba for expressing uh, 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 their desire to have more religious freedom. And it's a, day, it's, a, it's a Sunday occurrence. Every Sunday, the ladies in white get beaten up. That's a peaceful group marching for human rights. And so it's nice to say the Cold War is over, but it's not over in Cuba. It's a very hot war even. And so I understand that the president says lift the embargo, but the reality is that uh, none of the conditions for lifting the embargo have been met. There are mass arrests. What is happening right now in Central America? There, there are 40,000 Cubans who want to come to the United States. This is a year after the president announced great changes were taking place in Cuba. Nada has changed. <laughs> so I think people are uh, very nervous about living under a communist dictatorship. They see Obama throwing a lifeline to Castro, and they say, oh my goodness, Castro's going to stay in power forever. I'm leaving. I'm coming to the United States. So the president has created this immigration crisis. It's unbelievable. I was in Miami this year and spoke to a bunch of people um, from the Cuban community, and some said, just I like... I hope you spent a lot of money there. <laughs> It wasn't my money, but I did. Well, money is money. That's okay. <laughs> and they said just what you said, but they said, but the other way didn't work. And I so even that. though things are terrible in Cuba, their feeling was give it a shot. Well, I understand that. But the reality is that we really haven't had an embargo because somebody has always helped out Castro. Uh, first it was the Soviet Union, then it was uh, Chavez, and then Maduro in Venezuela. And now, interestingly enough, it's the United States that help, is helping uh, Castro remain in power. So um, I think that we should work with our allies and see how they can help us in helping the Cuban people free themselves of this tyranny. So we want, a, uh, we want a solution that gets to the people closer to elections. Do we have elections in Cuba? No. The, the president calls for change all over the world, and yet for Cuba, He's complacent to have the status quo, and I think that's a shame. People want change, they want elections, they want freedom, and uh, I know that trying something new sounds very cute and nice, but if that's something new just props up a dictator, it's really nothing new.